I hate doing these updates when we lose a great iron brother or sister, but I got to do it again here. Sean the Dinosaur Davis has passed at 57 years of age. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. I hate doing these updates when we lose a great iron brother or sister, but I got to do it again here. Sean the Dinosaur Davis has passed at 57 years of age. He was uh, one of the perennial booth favorites if you went to any of the Arnold Expos, Olympia Expos, and you went to the Pro Lab booth where Lee Priest would be sitting next to Sean the Dinosaur Davis, a bigger than life character. At his biggest, I believe he was 334 pounds, at least that's what he told me. And he had some gigando shoulders, some crazy arms, he had great quads. He had all the tools to be a really, really great IFBB pro. I don't think he ever really put it together the way he would have liked. And then his career kind of got cut short by a kidney failure. He talked about it on the RX Muscle Show back in 2018 when I interviewed him. And he needed a kidney transplant. He had been on dialysis for a while. They gave him the call. I believe it was in the middle of the night. He went down to the hospital. They did a, a, a matching, type matching for his blood type. And he got the kidney transplant. Unfortunately, he actually was starting to reject the kidney. And they gave him some more. I guess you could say intense immunosuppressive drugs. They saved it. He actually was able to keep the kidney, but they always told him that, you know, the kidney might have been damaged somewhat. It's kind of impossible to know exactly the extent of that. And I don't know quite how long. When I interviewed him, he had had the kidney transplant for 10 years already, and he had been doing pretty well on it. This was in 18. I think his health started to deteriorate after that, and I think the kidney was giving him problems. I don't really have an official cause of death, but I have to assume it was related to the kidney and to you know his declining health could have been also linked remember the kidneys do everything in the body essentially they maintain blood pressure which obviously is going to influence the heart they detoxify the body you know when toxins build up over a long period of time not good for the body either and you know when your kidney is not functioning well especially if you have a transplant you're dealing with Things go wrong. Other things, cardiovascularly wise, can go wrong. So I don't know what the uh, exact cause. I do. See, I did see some pictures recently of him. He looked like he had lost a lot of weight, and I know he was being treated at a hospital near his home. And the cause of death, once again, has not been officially released. But we'll always remember Sean as that fun-loving guy with a great sense of humor. If you go back and watch, we'll put in the uh, we'll put in the link below. Uh, the, the link to the two interviews I did with him, the two parts where he discusses his career and discusses, you know, hanging out with Lee Priest and goofing around at the European Grand Prix tours. They, they had a great time back in the day. And I really enjoyed talking to him. And, you know, he's one of these guys that if he had lived down the block from me, we'd probably be best friends because he had a good sense of humor. He didn't take himself too seriously, but he loved bodybuilding. And I think that's what he's gonna be remembered for, the guy who really had a passion for bodybuilding, for the sport. I know he coached people as well, uh, became a knowledgeable you know, trainer over the course of his career. And it's unfortunate when your career gets cut short, you don't kind of end things on your own terms, which I think he always kind of like, I don't know if he regretted it, but I think he would have liked to have ended on his own terms. But I know he always told me, you know what, Dave, I'm glad that I have my health and that I am able to enjoy my life. And so at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. He did get the kidney transplant. He did enjoy many years after that kidney. What happened, you know, leading to the days after that, we don't really know yet. And uh, I, all I know is that there are a lot of sad people out there because Sean was a well-liked guy. He, uh, he had a lot of friends and he'll be sorely missed for sure. I know if you guys have any personal stories that you interacted with Sean and you want to share them with me, feel free to reach out, email me or text me because we're going to definitely do some sort of a tribute show to him probably on After Hours on Tuesday or maybe even on Heavy Muscle 
radio Sunday night, or maybe both times, because he was a bigger than life character in the IFBB and in the bodybuilding world itself. And once again, like, he's, like I said, he was probably one of the most popular guys if you went to an expo. Everyone wanted to take a picture with him because he was so big. And you know what? A lot of people don't know this. They didn't call him the dinosaur because of his size. He told me in the interview he did with me, I asked him the very last question, why did they call you the dinosaur? He said, well, you know, he would goof around a lot because he, he had kind of like a wry sense of humor with the guys at the gym and he would say kind of goofy stuff sometimes. And they said, you know what? You're just like a dinosaur. Huge body, small head, small brain. <laughs> and he, did, he didn't mind. He said, it just stuck and that's, that became his nickname. I don't know if anyone knew the reason they called him the dinosaur, but, but I, thought it was, I thought the fact that he was able to laugh at himself said a lot about his character and about how he didn't take life too seriously like all of us should, which means you enjoy life a lot more when you do that. Sean, I'm going to miss you. I wish I would have got you on RX Bustle a lot more. We should have used you more because you had some great insights and some great stories. I give my prayers and love out to your family, family and friends in this time of need. If there is a GoFundMe or anything for Sean, please let me know. We'll put it up in the comments below and we'll put it on the description as well. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.